other guys. Did I mention I'm a nervous person? Well, frankly, I am. Today I went to the market at the end of the street to get some Wheaties. But when I got there, I couldn't remember whether I wanted one or more boxes, so I just asked the manager how many I should get. Seventeen, he said. But, and this is what I want to emphasize by nervous, I could only find nine boxes. So what could I do? I bought nine boxes of Wheaties and seven heads of lettuce. That made 16. And one bag of charcoal paquettes. That made 17. And a quart of milk, you know, for the Wheaties. <laughs> then I came home. What's that? Just stuff I got at the market. We were running a little low. Well, bunnies like lettuce. Yes, they constantly do. Do you have a bunny? You got a bunny then? No, really, Lucian. You never mentioned a bunny before. This concerns me a little. Do you read them? Sure, but I repeat, I have not forgot the bunny. Department of Agriculture Yearbook, 1948. Department of Agriculture Yearbook, 1950. Could be said. Department of Agriculture Yearbook, 1951. Department of Agriculture Yearbook, 1949. Pretty good, huh? Where's the bunny? Now listen, Lucian, did you lose a bunny? This is really beginning to bother me. I'll be a good reader now. Oh, really, Lucian? This has to be emphasized. I've got A, Wheaties, B, Lettuce, and C, Charcoal Briquettes, and a quart of milk for the bunny. Did I mention the Wheaties? It's a hard song. Must be the door. What about them? You can't be thinking of those. Jack and Bass. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I got this. <laughs> oh, hi, Jack. It's nice to see you today. It's a nice day today. What are you two guys up to? Just hanging around. Hanging around. Saturday's a good thing about that. Uh, what's up your shirt, Lucian? <gasps> My shirt? Yes, there's something up your shirt, at least. I hope there's something up your shirt. He had a big breakfast. My breakfast hit me big. <laughs> oh, boy. What's your way back here? I see a friend with the old people. One of the old people said, how are you today? Oh boy, I hate these questions. Who's we? You had to mention them, didn't you? You couldn't just ignore it, could you? Hi, Norman. Oh, Jack. Hi, Jack. Job's going great. It's nice to see you. Well, I better get to bed. Where's what's the, what's that up your shirt, Norman? I knew my shirt. This is the beginning of coming up at dinner. Oh boy, there's a thing in my shirt. I'm really glad you told me. I wonder what it would be. The suspense is killing us. Donuts! Oh boy, I didn't even know it! Donuts! I brought the charcoal for Kevin. I don't believe this. You make a plan, you think it all through, you work out the details. I mean, it was foolproof. My name is Jack Paul. For the past eight months, I've been supervising five group departments of the mentally handicapped. The idea is to introduce them into the mainstream. Most of the time, I laugh at their escapades. But the truth is, they're burning me out. But somehow, despite all this, they remain my closest associates. At the donut shop, where Norman works, his name is Billy Blue. <coughs> At the end of the day, they gather all the broken donuts and give them to Norman. This is construed as an act of kindness by both Norman and the people at the donut shop. Since he started working a few months ago, he's gained 17 pounds. And Lucian, on a recent group field trip to a local penny who stunned a host of school children and toddlers by climbing atop an apathetic cow and yelling loudly, Fire! This cow me on fire! Two weeks ago, Arnold fought a weather rating. After four days of nothing but weather, he called the Coast Guard and told him there was a plot to express music, news, and commercials. And finally, Barry, who we've not yet met, has convinced himself that he's a golf pro. He even put up a sign in the recreational room of the apartment complex advertising private lessons at $1.13 an hour. At last count, he had four pupils signed up. How'd we go read about books now? You have to study agriculture in a set, year by year, otherwise it won't make any sense. It'd be a set. I told you over and over again not to buy things at Livingston's market. I told you to take advantage of it. I told you they could tease you. I want you to take the Wheaties and the milk and the lettuce and the charcoal, put them back in their bags, take the bags, put them back in the shopping cart, take it all back. I don't like this, Jack. I don't like this at all. I can't keep donuts, right? I know it's tough, Arnold, but you can do it. Norman, if you don't put that donut down, I'm going to take all your keys and have them melted down into a lawn stash. I need my keys. They're important. I can't get anything without my keys. It's your decision, Norman. Your donuts. Can you want to take over? It's a good idea, Jack. I'm going to put it right down on my list of things to do. Stop right there. And no, don't no, no, keep what you think of. Arnold, you're going to do it now. Now? All you have to help you with the bags. I need my keys. I can't do it. I don't know the manager's name. There. That's fine. Now, if you don't put that down, your keys are in your I just want you to know that never in my entire life have I ever seen such a pressure. Boy, 
This is like Russia around here. The guy can't even eat a donut or get a few things in for a rainy day. Boy! Hey, man. What about that girl with those thorns in her pants? What do you think she did? Sheila? Oh, she's nice. I like her. Did she say you were too fat? Did you tell me you're going to stop eating all these donuts? Come on, man. My mind is made up. Nobody can talk me out of it. I'm moving to Russia tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay, you've been having Jack. Thanks, Lori. She's not skinny mini herself. Guys, guys, I got it. It'd be trapped. Wendy! If he trapped under the toilet! <laughs> it's big. It's a big one. Norman, what are you doing? Now you can see. I tell you, man. Don't you understand? Rats can't see in the dark. It's a behavior pattern. They can't see in the dark. It's trapped. The door's open. The rat be trapped. Shut out. the door! No, no, wait. We need a plan. We need an airtight plan. Rats are sneaky. That's why everybody says you sneaky rat. Norman, shut off the lights. First thing, we'll blind it. Go on, shut them off. Now, Lucian, count to three, then shut the door. Very easy. Don't let them know where you are. I'll be cool. I know where you are. Don't let the rat know where you are. Tell me now. I'll be now. Shut the door. Now check him out. Did you get him? We got the rat. We got the rat. Let me think. I've got it. The toilet will flush him down. Okay. Now we blind him. Norman, you pick him up by the tail. Lucian, you flush. I'll stand and watch by the door. He's small. Maybe he's sleeping. Pick him up. <coughs> you don't know, much. Go on. Take him. Take him. Who turned off the light? We got a rat. Hi, babe. I got the rat. I get you. Flush it. We did it. He went down. Didn't touch all of it. Oh boy. Oh, we should be split. Be tired. He just stuck him right down. That's the bravest thing I think I've ever done. Hi, Barry. Yeah. Crossy kid quit today. We're right in the middle of the lesson. I'm only nine years old. The Crossy kid said. <laughs> so what? I'm 28. Now I'm just down to one pupil. It was a great lesson, too. I called it the do's and don'ts of running a golf cart. It really hurts me. All these people ever want to do is golf. Three months ago, Lucian was informed by the Social Security Administration that his benefits were being cut off. They said that their information indicated that Lucian was capable of being fully integrated into the community. We appealed. No luck. Our next step is to appear before a state senate subcommittee. Lucian has been advised a witness. I try to prepare him, but I don't think it's taken. He says if he knows the alphabet song, it'll be okay. He says he wants to wear a tie with Spider-Man on it, so everyone knows how important this is. Barry? Yeah? I can dumb. Yeah? I kill the rat. Killing rats and golfing are two different sports, Lucian. Oh. The, the funny guy is here. This is the Wall Street Journal. There's no funny in this paper. How come? This is a businessman's paper. Oh, you be in business now, little Barry? I might even run a beeper. I'm looking into it. You better get dressed. When Harry comes to the van, he'll be pissed if you aren't ready. Can I see that? See what? Snoopy! If there are no funnies, this is the Wall Street Journal! I'll be getting dressed. If I run a beeper, I'm going to be the only one that's going to be allowed to touch it. The beepers aren't toys. They're tools of industry. I just said to Miss Beeper, it's a nice day today. She said, I never drink iced tea. Oh boy, did that throw me? What do you think she meant? Well, she's a very intelligent woman, Norman. And I don't always get her gist at first, but it usually sinks in after a while. Here, you got metal. But go look at her lab. Snoopy, he gone. I told you to get dressed. You get dressed. Who's it from? Half step when you're done? Is it a golf lab? It's from my dad. He's coming to visit me. He's going to be in Boston for a day, and he's coming to visit me. He's here! Oh boy, he's fast! I 
just tell me it was a bathroom. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Noam and welcome to my home. Going to take a seat? My name is Karen Warren. Hello, my name is Noam and welcome to my seat. Going to take my home? I mean, I see. Oh, you take my home? Oh boy, this is Juno. Oh boy, tricky. Welcome to my home, won't you take a seat? I think that's it. No, this is my home, not your home. I really want to take five minutes. Oh, you take a seat? Hello, my name is Greg Ripper. Welcome to my home. Won't you take a seat? Sitting, thank you. So you are, absolutely. Do you want some drink? We got milk and juice and iced tea and cheese and eggs and cheese. I really have to go. I just got by for a minute. Do you want some iced tea? No, thank you. I can't stay. It's just, well, my little boy Sean is too much hamsters when I'm on a skate class night. He was on baby. He might have scurried in here. A hamster? Is that a rat or a rabbit fan? Was he big or will? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's about this big. Was he brown or small color? About the size of two to three and a half golf balls? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen how I don't have a hamster. Well, what about you, Norman? Hello, my name is Norman. Welcome to my team. <laughs> Lucian, Norman and Otto are in the band. Are you coming? I don't want to be dancing. Oh, well, I'll be fine. You always like me to get there. So, throw on your dancing clothes. We'll head over to the show. I got practice for the state senate. The state senate. Who should be spent got Spider-Man? I mean business or I got practice. Okay. I understand. The states they, they read? Yeah, they read. Oh. They don't care whether you can read or not, Lucian. They just want you to be yourself. Answer a few questions and be yourself. Yourself. It ain't ready yet. Yourself, it just not ready yet. <laughs> I was just 
have the temperament for the pro form. Under all that pressure, she just crumbled. It's a shame, she's a nice lady. Is that golf? It's a five iron. Most useful club in the bag, Lucy. Some men, they sit with their five iron. <laughs> that must be bumpy. A bumpy or not, it makes you a better golf. A more serious golf. Lucian, can I tell you something personal? I mean, just between you and me, roommate to roommate, a secret? My dad scares me. He scares me something terrible, Lucian. Something terrible. I, I think I'll be ready for bed. I think I'll be ready for bed. Dad. They be scary sometimes. Asia. Asia. Hello, my name is Norman Lane from Matt. What is that? Oh boy, show him why you show it to him. Yes, I am fine. His baby, baby let me have it. He has lots of time, so you let me have it. My name is? I like this song. You got to feel me. We have an African violin to see. Oh boy, let me guess. The African violin? I went out to uh, Helen. She wasn't dancing. She was just sitting there. And I said, excuse me, can I cut it? And she said to me, you're all wet. Well, that didn't. I don't have to take that kind of treatment. Oh, yeah, I said. Well, you got a ticket. Arnold? <laughs> oh, hi, Jack. I pulled three more people. From my point of view, splashing water on your pants is a plan everybody should participate in. Arnold, what did you tell Helen? Nothing. Nothing much. Just chit-chat. What did you tell her? I told her she had a tit. Like this. You can't just go around insulting people, Arnold. You upset Helen. She's in the band now. She won't talk. She won't come out. She started it. She said, and I mean this frankly, Jack, that I was all wet. You are all wet. Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, you've got a tit. Oh boy, that was nice. Guess what, Norman? I'm a geranium. Norman? Yeah? Where does dust come from? From tree. Oh, you got no tree. Hello, what's my home? My name's Norman Nancy. You got no tree. Morning, guys. What's up? Oh, Jack. Hey, Jack. We got that tree! That's a tone. So where are the other two muskets? All he's out being the rest, but Barry, he won't help. He ain't got no time. He's right there on the list clean bathroom, but just because his dad's coming, he's saying he don't got nothing else to do. I'll pop to him, Norman. He's under a lot of pressure. If my dad came, I'd still do a distance. I thought your dad was dead, Norman. So what? Oh boy. So what? Just because his dad took me, I'm going to do this. You're right. I lost my head. I'll be right back. Bye, Barry. He'd be dead too. Will you still do this? <laughs> no, baby. I'm dusty. Where's Jack? I saw him coming outside. I've got to talk with him. This is very important. He's in the bathroom. Excuse me, Jack, but we have to have a discussion. I'll be right out. I'll hold your horses. Hold my horses? You got horses? <laughs> he must have me confused with somebody else. I don't have any horses. It's me, Arnold. The rugs. You got horses on them? He's doing it again, Jack. I told you this bothers me. First it was funny, now it's horses. It's a behavior pattern. We have to make it illegal, have a limb day, it won't come out. You got a bunny? There it is again. I do not, I repeat, have a bunny. Okay, Arnold, let's drift our way back to the rugs. He's got me so worried with these bunnies, I can hardly think. Please stop worrying about bunnies. And cheese, I'm sick of cheese. Cheese is thick. If we can't have cheese, I'll go on a hunger strike. Hi, Barry. Hi, Lucian. Jack. Barry. Arnold. Norman. I don't talk to people that don't do dishes. That's a law of man. If you people excuse me, I have business. This screams from my father's friend. Okay, so when we last turned into the planet Xenon, you know, there was something about rugs. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me. This is important. And eggs. I'm sick of eggs. Eggs stick. Okay, fine. Nobody cares about the rugs. But if anybody needs me, I'll be in my room thinking about the rugs. And if somebody, for example, wants to know what happened with the rugs, they'll have to get me to tell them. And frankly, I'm not telling anybody anyways, so anyone who asks is just in for a big surprise. 
I quit. You can't quit normally. You have to finish your chores, but you can take a break. Well, I'm taking a break. Dad? Yeah? Can she all come over sometime? Just me and Mom. Alone. Uh, I want to show up. Tricky one. Come on. Come on. A lot to think about. I'm done. Well, what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Price war. Learn to golf. Two lessons for 25 cents. That's a break there. It's a merchandising technique. Price for it. That excites the average person. Okay, Lucian's being split, but let's do uh, This is a penny. The well, lessons are 25 cents, Lucian. Uh, Jack, would you please explain some of the realities to Lucian? Realities like how I can't run a business on a penny here and a penny there? Sure. Lucian, Barry can't run a business on a penny here and a penny there. I repeat, I am in here, I repeat, thinking about the rock! <laughs> here, boy. <laughs> Another penny? Is this a joke? Is golf for something one big joke? He wants more money, Lucian. 23 more cents. I'll be here, man. Oh my god. <coughs> golf isn't for everybody, Norman. Besides, fat people shouldn't golf anyway. Fat! Oh boy! Look who's gonna who fat! Was... Look who's gonna who fat! Huh? I've thought about it and I've decided to be fair. I'm going outside where the whole run thing happened, and I'm gonna tell the whole story out loud. Whoever's interested enough to listen. I gotta do dishes. Yeah. 
Those buses keep the seats so close together. It's a damn wonder I don't have a hurry. Why don't you see what's in the bag, Harry? It's just a little something. It's nothing, really. A chocolate heart. That's great. Like I said, it's just a thought. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you. You know, Jack, maybe the boy would loosen up if we had a long time together. What do you say? Sure. I'll go take a walk or something. Is that okay with you, Mary? Huh? I'll be right back. Okay? Uh, sure, Jack. Uh, okay, uh, sure. Yeah, it's a real nice place you got here, Mary. So uh, tell me, what have you been doing with yourself? Uh, won't you uh, take a seat? I'll stay. So what do you have to say for yourself, boy? Hmm? I'm talking to you! Are you going to keep up this silent crap? I'm talking to you! When you're full of assholes, you listen up, you hear me? You damn god! Lucian, 
Smith says it's hard. Thank you. Frankly, it's an awful long wait. It's a great idea. Will you take me home? 
think I forgot a few things. Yeah, no problem. Jack, you shouldn't be leaving us. I have to. If you do, I'll pay. I hope not. I will. I really hope not. I yes. will. You still leaving us? Yes. Then fine. I hate you. Curtains up and you'll suck. You know, Jack, you've got better than me, your friends, and a lot of better than me. Thanks, Owen. Now, Gordon, on chapter number seven, local service. Stop in Boston, Moscow, Vancouver, Anchorage, and Moscow. All aboard! <laughs> That's it!